Good afternoon. Welcome to the Skyline. My name's Bill. I'll be your conductor. I'm going to start from the top of the big rock. I'd like to give you just a little information about Stone Mountain. It's a big rock. There you go. It's the single largest granite outcropping in the world. From the bottom to the top is 825 feet. From the bottom downward, it goes about 10 miles under the earth. So what you're seeing is about 1% of the stone that's in Stone Mountain. If you want to walk around the mountain, it would be a five-mile walk. The area around the carving that's been blasted away is about three acres. Carving itself is 90 feet tall by 190 feet wide. From left to right, we have Jefferson Davis, Robert E. Lee, Thomas Stonewall Jackson, General Lee, It's about the same size as the carving area. If you look to the west, the buildings you see are the Buckhead area of Atlanta. Just a little further north, you see the Twin Peaks of Little Kennesaw and Kennesaw Mountains. The car going down is traveling the same speed we are going up. They look faster, we look better. Nice. <laughs> Folks, there is a chain link fence surrounding the top of the mountain. It's there for a reason. Think about it. <laughs> Alright, folks, here comes the fun part. If they hold on to something or somebody, we're going to rock and roll over the tower. <laughs> and they're slowing us down just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, we're running the tram every five to ten minutes. Feel free to spend as much time as you like on top of the mountain. The last car up tonight will be at uh, 7 o'clock. The last car down will be at 7.30. If you miss that 7.30 car, it's 1.4 miles. That way the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> that epic to play guitar on top of a mountain? I wish I had my voice back. <laughs> yeah, Fia's got a little bit of the ick. But, you know, she's alright. It's the fall funk. The change in weather and everything. <laughs> I'll probably have to end up putting subtitles to this if it gets too windy. <laughs> We're celebrating her birthday, which was a couple of weeks ago, but this is technically her party. She wanted to come to Stone Mountain, so we're here at Stone Mountain. Yep. The only reason it's so late is because you took so long to get here. <sighs> it's late, blame to me, and you had jobs to do at conventions. Excuse me. Yes, excuse you. You were happy because I bought you a signed sketch from your favorite artist. I know. So stop complaining. I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll scan that and let you guys see it later. That's the point. But it's so awesome. It's my favorite character, Ritz. That guy is shirtless. Eyes up here. Man. 
Yes. That's good to know. It's okay. Ah. Sorry. What is it with you and like smashing my glasses into my face? I don't mean to. I do it all the time. <laughs> And this is the train ride we took along the Stony Mountain itself. There was a lot to really kind of go over. Though, this place was very beautiful, and I loved every minute of it. Plus, getting it, you know, spending all your time with loved ones is also pretty good. <laughs> now here, I don't know what that is. Now this is the actual back of Stone Mountain, yes. The entire train goes all the way around Stone Mountain, so you get to see not only the front, but also the back, which... Eh, it's the back. What do you expect? <laughs> but, I can say this much. The view from up top is stunning. I mean, you can see out for miles and miles all around. And here's my lovely co-host, Miss Fiatakia. And this is supposedly what Stone Mountain, the whole park, is supposed to look like. And this is the train that carried us around to see, well, Stone Mountain. So until then, review on. <laughs>